Will Steve's journey come to an end in Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2? Steve has become a fan favourite in the show, and we've gone on a real journey with the character since he first appeared in Stranger Things back in 2016. Comedically known as the Babysitter, his relationships with people are what makes this character so relatable and likeable at his core. However, at the end of Episode 6, there were some details that could highlight the beginning of the end for the character. So let's get into it. Here is Will Steve's journey come to an end in Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. At the end of Episode 6, we saw Steve enter the Upside Down for the first time. He was dragged in and was then ambushed by a group of Demobats that tied him up whilst one proceeded to take a bite out of the bottom left side of his torso. We saw in the following episode that there was a large chunk taken out of him, and the wound was gaping and oozing, far more bloody than what was originally anticipated. We saw him collapse and act as though he'd lost a lot of energy. I feel this is the start of the demise of the character. As mentioned earlier on, Steve is often the hero character in the show when it comes to looking out for others and saving them, and we could see this bite be something that could potentially turn him into the opposite, a villain. I think the wound that he has could cause two different things. The first is that the bite that Steve has is going to be getting worse underneath the bandage, not thinking anything of it, and then in turn, turn him into a villain. We know that everything in the Upside Down is connected, and is in tune with the Mind Flayer, you can't even step on a vine without it triggering a response. We know for a fact that the Upside Down acts as a hive, so the fact that the Demobats could have left something within him could allow the Mind Flayer to latch onto him and in turn start the transformation of turning him into a villain in the show. Possessing his mind and getting him to turn against the group, we saw the Mind Flayer do this with Billy in Season 3, so it's something we have seen before. This would provide an interesting yet deeply sad twist of fate due to the fact that the group would have to turn on the person that they love dearly, especially Nancy. They've created this newfound relationship and chemistry in the show between Nancy and Steve, which is extremely apparent, and I feel that it's because they want to make the downfall and demise of Steve even sadder when it does finally arrive, even to the point where one may eventually have to kill the other one. It would be a great arc if that were to happen, and one that I think would be extremely unexpected, but entertaining to watch for sure. That's one theory anyway. Another one is that the bite that he's had taken out of him will eventually cause him to lose so much blood that it eventually kills him. We know that Steve has lost a lot of blood following the encounter with the Demobats, and he's not going to be getting any form of treatment inside the Upside Down, so he is already quite weak. The lack of tending to the wound could cause him to lose too much blood to the point where it does eventually kill him. He could need to step up and do something to save Nancy, which I could see happening, and it would be his last act, as he would only have enough energy to save her. We know that Vecna is already interested in Nancy as he proceeded to enter her mind in the finale, so Steve needing to do something to save her isn't necessarily off the cards. I'm more on the side of the first theory. I think the fact that he has been bitten is something that's definitely going to come back to the forefront in Volume 2. Steve has been an important role in the show, and by turning him into a villain when once being considered the lovable hero is something that I feel would fit in so well into the story and provide a cruel twist of fate and would make the final volume extremely impactful and provide more at stake than what already is. I'm excited to see if something is going to happen to Steve when the show does return in July. If you'd like to see a wide array of Stranger Things content such as the ending of Volume 1 broken down and explained, Vecna explained, or the Volume 2 teaser trailer broken down, then hit on the i button in the top corner, or alternatively you can head over to the channel where there's an entire playlist. If you want to suggest a show or movie for me to cover on the channel, then feel free to head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what you'd like to see. What do you think is in store for Steve in Volume 2? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>